Hello and welcome. Let's launch YDB cluster together. In this video, we will describe YDB. We will configure and run YDB 3 node cluster deployed in three different availability zones. To demonstrate that YDB survives node failure, we will stop one node of a cluster and make sure that cluster is still available. YDB is a distributed SQL database that remains available after node availability zone failure, scales automatically up to millions of requests per second in dozens of petabytes of data. There is no need to compromise consistency because YDB provides ACID transactions with multiple tables running on different cluster nodes. It's an open source project available under Apache 2 license. We will deploy YDB on a cluster of three servers. Every machine has one device for operating system and three storage devices for YDB. First, we will launch static nodes. It's a YDB process that operates storage devices. Three static nodes will be launched, one per virtual machine. Static nodes join the cluster in use network for intra-cluster communication. Compute layer is separated from the storage layer. Different layers use interconnect network to talk to each other. Compute layer is formed by dynamic YDB nodes that are launched on the same service as storage nodes. Applications access YDB cluster through dynamic nodes. Dynamic nodes receive and handle client requests. In order to run this demo, we will need three Linux virtual machines with four storage devices attached to every server. Virtual machines in this demo has eight cores of CPU and 32 gigabytes of memory. In the first comment under this video, you can find a link to the instruction with commands from this demo. We have three tabs with SSH connections to VMs of a cluster. Before anything else, we need to prepare block storage device to work with YDB. To achieve maximum performance and ensure data durability, YDB uses raw block devices. We have four block devices attached to every virtual machine. The first one is used for operating system, three for YDB storage. For security reasons, it is recommended to launch YDB under a dedicated operating system user. Let's create system user. The user has to be a member of this group in order to access block devices directly. Warning! Falling steps will destroy all data on block devices. We will copy command from the instruction and change the device path to backslash dev backslash vdb. This is the name of the first block device on our system. This command creates a new empty partition table. Let's create one partition of the first block device. This partition will use all device space. Next command assigns a name to the partition. We will use this name to address it in the config file. Now let's update kernel's data about disk partitions. We have three block devices for YDB data. Now it's required to create partitions on every device. We have finished preparation of the first cluster node. It has user with name YDB and three block devices with named partitions. Demo cluster has three nodes. We need to repeat previous steps for every node of a cluster. Download and unpack the archive. Archive contains binary to run the server and the required libraries. Now let's create directories for YDB files and change their owner to YDB user. Copy archive contents to the respected directories. YDB would never modify data on the devices that are not formatted explicitly. Let's format every block device using YDB binary. Please make sure that there is no important data on these devices. Demo cluster has three nodes. We need to download the binary and prepare storage devices on every node. Now we need to download the configuration file and modify it to fit our cluster. Instruction has links to several configuration examples. We will use the one for original cluster consisting of three nodes. The documentation link points to YDB GitHub repository. Let's copy the link to raw file contents and download it. Open the file in editor and find the host section. It contains three elements. Change the names of cluster hosts according to your settings. Next step, change node ID parameters in fail domain section. Find node ID parameters, there are nine of them, and change them to the cluster nodes host names.
Now let's save the file as config.yaml in a ydb config directory. This config is required to run every storage node of a cluster. Let's copy it to all cluster nodes. Let's start first static node of the cluster and repeat the same command on other virtual machines of the cluster. YDB cluster requires initialization. The following command could be run from any cluster node once. It is required to create at least one database on a cluster to work with tables. This command creates database with name slash root slash testdb. It could be run from any cluster node. Launch the dynamic node for the created database. Dynamic node will handle client requests. To increase database availability, we will launch dynamic node on every VM of the cluster. We will need YDB command line interface to test our database. Install the command line tool and create a table in our database. Now we can list tables in the database using YDB command line tool. YDB command line tool allows us to run test workloads simulating basic e-commerce application. Let's initialize database schema for the test workload with sample data. After schema initialization, we can run workload. Minus S parameter allows to set the duration in seconds. Now when workload is started, we can see it activity in YDB user interface, which could be accessed on every node of the cluster using your browser. The first page displays the list of databases created on the cluster. YDB UI allows to view table structure, preview table data, run queries, and check their execution plans. YDB remains available even after a node or an availability zone failure. Let's simulate availability zone outage by stopping one of virtual machines of a cluster. Despite AZ outage, application is still running. On UI Diagnostics tab, you can get a quick overview of the database status. Health Check API shows that there are missing storage nodes. Though one third of the cluster is down, you can still run a query or modify data in any table. YDB remains strictly consistent in this outage. Thank you for watching this video. It takes only 10 minutes to deploy YDB cluster in three availability zones. YDB cluster survives zone failure and remains available for reads and writes. Just give it a try. Deploy YDB cluster on three nodes in three availability zones yourself. Ask questions on Stack Overflow using YDB tag if something goes wrong.